Okay, welcome, you hair sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the full moon readings for um, the month of August. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Let me find a better space and a better lighting for you guys so we can look. So, okay, um, I am first going to be looking at the air sign people and the moon sign people. So we have the the sun people this is the full moon reading for august 2019 i want to say thank you so much for being here thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration um thank you for returning um and let's see what is going to be coming out what is going to be affecting you guys how is this affect um this issue situations are going to be affecting you guys okay so um um, this is for um, full moon begins 15 August until um, 15 until 15 September so it is uh, um, 15 to 15 it's the full moon energies vibration and um, we are going to be seeing what is transpiring okay so first I've changed it up again but we're using the same deck but we're looking at the energy for you air sign people the sun people and the moon people um so we're seeing what is um applying to the sun people and the moon people what is going to affect you guys and i'm seeing um the tuning in for the sun people for the moon people it's about the sex styling and semi-sex styling for um for semi-sex styling for the sun people so here we are and the conjunction is coming up for um, you hair sign people. So this is good. So let me put my glasses on. So um, as I'm seeing, I remember the sun people is the people who were born um, 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Okay, 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Once the sun was up, you're a sun person. Once the moon um, is up, then you're a moon person. So if you were born after 6 p.m. until 6 until say, um, um, six, six in the morning when the sun comes up. Okay, you're a moon person. So as we're looking, we have the energy of uh, um, for you guys is the conjunction um, empowerment. And this has to do with uh, um, combining with enhancing, strengthening, join forces for you air sign people activating intense authority okay aligning with the consensuals of overcoming and overriding elements so this is what is going to affect in you air sign people in this um august period this is what is going to affect you guys so be aware of this and um you know open up yourself to the energies and open up yourself to the situation because this is what is going to be aligning with the energy um, with you guys and this is going to be wonderful and powerful because it's a conjunction okay and the conjunction is good because it's about combining of force so let's look at the sun people what we have for the sun people um, we have a, a tuning flow tuning flow and this is really good for you sun people because with this is saying for you sun people is that you're going with the flow you're not going against the flow you're going with the flow you're finding yourself you're protecting yourself you're going with the flow you're transferring you're transpiring you're moving forward you're activating things you're going within you're seeing the thing you're seeing things flowing in your life and this is going to be wonderful energy and wonderful aspect that is happening so this is wonderful and this is good because what is transpiring is that as you go with the flow you go in the the way the universal angels and guys is guiding you and this is wonderful and positive because what is transpiring is that really there is positive energies that is coming up and you're aligning yourself with these energies so as we look at these situations of the flow that is coming up for you sun sign it is a wonderful wonderful um full moon for you guys for you air sign people because you're going with the flow especially for the people who um or um guided under the sun energy now we have the semi um semi sextile allowing 
So we have the energy of encouragement, allowing the potential, clarification, giving hope, comparing, introduce, and, and that sort of a thing. And this is really wonderful because the semi-sex styling is always a very positive and a very wonderful excitement um, that is coming in. And this is, this is actually very positive. So this is a good alignment of energy that is coming up for you, sun sign, for this full moon, okay? Um, for the other times, the full moon was not that good for you guys. But um, this full moon, um, um, especially for you, sun sign people, it's um, extremely, extremely um, positive that is coming up. Now we're looking at the moon people and we have the sex styles of opposition. The sex style of opposition is the collaboration, assistant, the explanation, providing opportunities, the synchronicities, creating possibilities for open, for new open doors, um, promising, bringing insight to communicate, welcoming development. So this is wonderful and this is good. So for you moon sign people, and if you were born after 6 p.m. in the evening and six and between 6 p.m. in the evening and 6 a.m. in the morning, you are a moon person, okay? You are a moon person. And what is happening is that you're semi-sex styling. And this is good because when semi and comes up, there's a lot of opportunities that is going to be coming up for you guys. So this is what I'm saying to you, air sign people, is that it is a wonderful full moon. This full moon is a wonderful full moon for you, air sign people, because definitely the semi style is coming up and this is going to be wonderful. What is also here is that opposition of balance is going to be coming in. So this is good for you moon people because not only that opportunities are coming in, but you're going to be balanced and out issues and situation in your life that is going to be bringing positive positive alignment of energies and this is just going to be moving you to a more positive vibrational energy um, in this full moon period okay so this is a, so grandiose and we're going to be um, going in and looking at the energies uh, in the houses okay so remember um, that we look at each and every houses and see who and what is in the houses and I'm going to start asking um, message to see who remembers um, the houses who remember the houses uh, okay who remember specific houses I'm going to start axing. Okay, this is a little bit, so I have to push the plant out so that I can connect with all the houses and see what is transpiring with all the houses. Okay, so we have the first house, second house, the third house, the fourth house, fifth house, sixth house, seven house, eight house. Um, uh, so we have uh 11th house we have a 12th house we have the 9th house and the 10th house okay so there we are we have everything so we're going to be finding out so we're calling up on the angels and guides of the hair sign people to come in and show us what is happening for the month of august august 15 till the 15th of september for the air sign people what's coming up in the houses and how is it going to be affecting how is it going to be affecting um uh these um these people okay so let's see what is going to be transpiring and what's going to be happening how is it going to be affecting so in the first house we have uh, taurus in the first house taurus uh, and the first house is about self so you air sign could be dealing with a taurus and maybe um there is something that the taurus is showing up in your house so in the second house we have saturn so there is transformation um in the third house we have mercury so there's a, going to be a lot of communication with um you gemini's remember the gemini's so we have aries that is coming up in the fourth house fifth house we have passion who is in the fifth house because we have definitely um um the um saturn is in the house of you gemini's sixth house we have the leas okay seventh house um we have uh, um this is the house of the 
um, Libran okay the seventh house is the house of the Libran and there is relaxation because you Librans are always relaxing it's the house of the Librans now what is here is that Uranus is breakthroughs is coming in for you Librans so whatever is happening you Librans Uranus is coming through for you Aquarius you're dealing with the Capricorn so you Aquarius are going to know <laughs> intimacy um, ninth house uh, we have uh, Mars um, career tenth house we have the north mode oh, oh 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 then we have the Pisces uh, in the house of the Aquarians and we have a surprise in the ninth house and the house of surrender the house of surrender has to do with um, this is the house of the the water sign okay so what is happening here and what is transpiring here is just so rarely weird because the seventh house is the house of the Libran okay so as I said, the seventh house is the house of the Libra. It's the house of Venus, but there is a breakthrough. There's a transformation. And we're going to be seeing what, what is coming up. The eighth house is always the house of the Scorpion. Now, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio and a Capricorn. So some of you ear cell are definitely dealing with a Scorpion and, and a Capricorn. The ninth house is always the house of the Sagittarians. Okay, so whatever is transpiring... <clears throat> some of you have something to do with a Sagittarius and a career with a Sagittarian okay the tent house is the house of the Capricorn and that is showing you your north mode okay so it's very interesting um for you your sign whatever is happening you Aquarians the 11th house of the Aquarians Uranus is in um, the seventh house, which is the house of the Librans. Okay, this is kind of weird for you, air sign people. Weird, weird energy, but yes, that is what is transpiring. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, you Aquarians, you're dealing with a Pisces in your house. There is an issue, there is some mystery with a Pisces that is, is happening. Okay. Um, 12 house is the house of the Pisces, okay? And the Pisces is in the 11th house for you guys. The Pisces is all about Neptune and Cry um, Chiron, where Chiron is coming up for you guys, okay? So definitely, um, I'm doing three ups and the North Mode of Destiny there is a sense of destiny that is coming up in the tent house that is repetition that the the house of the capricorn the north node is there and it is the soul school okay it's learning it's cultivating fulfillment um the proposal the maintenance the development and the practice that is coming up so what is destined as your reputation for you air sign because the North Node is something, something about your reputation is destined and it has to do with, it's in the house of the Capricorn and it has to do, and I'm pulling another card for this. So it has to do with the cancers, the feeling, the emotion, and the cancers have something to do with the Capricorn that is going to affect your reputation. Okay, so there we go. So um wonderful and this is why i say to you guys go check out the on demand because with the on demand there is so much information i look into career i look into money i look in there is just so much that is coming up so you guys just really need to check out the on demand i looked in every aspect of your house and that sort of a thing so we have the taurus um we have the taurus and it has to do with help from the Taurus in the first house. Oh, uh, what's happening here? Yeah. So we have the Taurus. Um, the love is in reverse. Um, so we have 
you ladies affected um, in um, the fourth house you you Gemini ladies are affected in the fourth house this is for the air sign full moon reading 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 for the air sign okay so let's look at this you air sign so in the first house of self what do we have here we are dealing with a Taurus so some of you could be dealing with a Taurus at the workplace okay um, this could be your boss this could be on the work floor but somehow this person has an effect on you now this could be in a relationship also but some of you whatever the store is and whoever the store is, is they're definitely affecting you in your first house which is the first house for themselves so whoever the store is, is in whatever way they are affecting you go check out the um, extended reading to find out what is transpiring with this Taurus who is the Taurus and how are they affecting your financial section but it has to do with self and money so this could be someone who you are depending on um, a Taurus to support you or in however way the Taurus is coming up they're affecting you um, in the house this is the house the financial the house of uh, um, stability and it is the house of the Taurus because the six of Pentacles is the energy of the Taurus can be a Virgo but it's coming up as the energy of the Taurus so it's uh, this could be someone you are married to a relationship that you're having with someone but this Taurus is definitely affecting you as we look at the house of the second house which is the house of the the Tauruses you have the house of the second house we have the energy of Saturn coming in and a new love is going to be removed out of your life so Saturn is coming in and this is the house of the the, um, the Tauruses um, Saturn is coming in and removing out a new love or it's going to be changing the vibration of how you see love or an issue with a child so um, this um, new love comes up this offer of love is in the reverse because Saturn come in to make a transition with this new love is a like Saturn is coming in to make whatever the transition is with this new love because they know what has happened and what has transpired and it's like Saturn comes in and said no um, do not go this way don't take this person in your life and this is happening in the second house and this is the house of assets okay so some of you could have met someone and whoever this person is they're only with you because of money and um, Saturn is coming in to remove this person out of your life okay so um, be aware of that then we have the third house the third house is the house of the Gemini it is the house of perception and mercury he is here so you women especially if you're a lawyer it is going to be a good time for you guys so if you're a Gemini and you're a lawyer it's going to be a very good time for you because what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that communication is going to be very 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 good okay so if you're a lawyer take this time use this energy vibration to some 15 of August and 15 September because it's going to be changing your energy vibration and the communication I'm seeing some of you and especially you Gemini's or you ladies 45 years and older communication between this period especially about your perception of something and especially if you're a lawyer it's going to be excellent and very good um, anything that has to do with communication is going to be excellent and very good here we have another com communication and it has to do with an Aries so um, this is coming from the roots so this is the house of um, this is the house of these um, cancers the house of the cancer it's all about the roots it's all about the family and some of you are going to be communication communicating clearly with a um with a with a aries you're going to be really communicating clearly with a aries whoever this aries person is communication is going to be very clear with this aries you're going to be at point you're going to say exactly what is going on you're going to be totally at point with this aries you're going to be communicating very clear with this aries this aries is someone who is coming from a past life it could be um, a mother or someone who is coming from a past life 
Um, but whatever is happening, you're communicating um, really. You're using the source of truth to cut through the bullshit with an Aries. Um, this could be, um, it's definitely a family or it could be coming from a past life and this person is a family or um, has been in a past life with you as a mother or has a family. But whatever is transpiring, um, you're cutting through the BS with this Aries. You're you're getting um, um, to the bottom of a situation with this Aries, okay? So, as we look at the fifth house, the fifth house is the house of passion. And in this house of passion, some of you are in a relationship with a scorpion. Um, this is going to be a beautiful relationship. Um, um, whatever this relationship is all about it can be beautiful but it's come it comes to an end so the passion with the scorpion um, is no longer there um, it's coming to an end there is no more passion the passion has left the building with a Scorpio some of you are going to be realizing that either the Scorpio is leaving the building or the passion has left the building with a Scorpio so the passion in the um, in the fifth house it has to do with people who are in relationship with a scorpion this energy this scorpion the passion has left the relationship or um, this scorpion is leaving the passion there's no more passion between you and the scorpion and um, it's time for you to um, really leave this relationship or this person and um, move on to the next person okay find someone new in the sixth house, we have the energy of um, creative activity. It is good because the Leos are in the sixth house. This is very good because it's a creative endeavor. Some of you could be connecting with a Leo. Whatever the issue is between you and a Leo, you're, uh, there's a victory. Um, Leo is movement. Leo is um, um, moving. Um, if you're flying, if you're going on vacation, um, this is going to be very good. Leo has the situation where if you're looking for a car, it's going to be very good between the 15th of August and the 15th of September. Um, it is a yes, go for it, whatever issues, uh, whatever situation that you're having with a Leo, you're going to be overcoming these situation. These situations are going to be working out in the best. If it's a new relationship, it is yes, go with this Leo. If it's... Um, and in um, an enterprise a business it is a yes go with this Leo okay then we are looking at the seventh house the seventh house is relaxation but um, you really need to relax because you have the four of swords unexpected something unexpected is going to be coming up where some of you are going to find out that you're sick there is a sickness and you need to take rest um, whatever the sickness is it's going to give you time to rest so there is definitely a sickness you have to take rest um this is the house of relaxation but whatever is coming up and whatever is affecting you you need to take some rest because the four of swords is here so it's in the house of relax so some of you could be going on vacation or some of you are going to be finding out that you're sick and you need to stay home now in the eight hours of intimacy, we are dealing with the Capricorn. So in the eight hours of intimacy, you're dealing with the Capricorns, but there is a lot of um, issues, a lot of uh, um, thinking, a lot of uh, confusion, a lot of uh, um, thoughts. You're dealing with a lot of thoughts, these issues and these situations, whatever they are, there is a lot of thought, there's a lot of issues, a lot of situation that is coming up. And you need to be aware of this because what exactly is happening and what exactly is transpiring is that you have too much thoughts in your head about this Capricorn. This is in the house of intimacy. If the intimacy is good um, and the rest isn't good, a lot of you are all in your head. And this is why check out the extended reading to see how this Capricorn is actually affecting you um, in um, your house of intimacy because you're dealing with the Capricorn. Then we have the ninth house, and the ninth house is the house of seeking, which is the house of the Sagittarius, and it has to do with career. So some of you are dealing with some issues, um, six and two, eight, um, where some of you could be walking away from a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius is leaving your life. Now, 
um, the ninth house is definitely the house of seeking whether or not you're going to be staying in a relationship with a Sagittarius or you're going to be walking away because you are emotionally imbalanced with a, a Sagittarian um, and you're wondering whether or not you should stay in a relationship so it is emotion and it is about some of you thinking to walk away from a Sagittarian and check out the extended reading because you will know whether or not you should okay this is so wonderful because this is seeking you're seeking some knowledge whether or not and it's it's the time when you're seeking to find out something about career also you're going in search of something to do with your career and it has to do with something to do where you can show more love in a career also okay so that's good as we look at the 10th house the 10th house has the energy of the capricorn and the energy of the capricorn has to do with the north node now some of you are dealing with a capricorn and a cancer and this whatever the issue is was destined to happen there is a lot of conflicts between you a capricorn and a cancer whatever that has transpired it is a destined situation because the situation is coming from past lives where the situation is coming from past life where um it is that you have to go back because it's as if some of you have issues with career you want to change your career you want to do something else that satisfies you and if whatever it is is your destined career so it's as if um a capricorn or a cancer could be aligning you towards your destined career so this 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 is definitely that is going to be happening in the 10th house as we look at the 11th house there's a lot of inner conflicts um five of ones because you're not sure what direction to go especially when it comes on to your career and with this um um, because it's all about your reputation so you want to make sure that your reputation is good as the 10th the house now we're at the 11th house and the 11th house has to do with you Aquarians the 11th house have to do with you Aquarians and some of you Aquarians could be connecting with a Pisces or could be finding out that um, the love of your life is a Pisces some of you who are married to a Pisces um or is about to marry to a pisces but whatever is going on for you some of you are going to decide to surrender this person okay because it's in you're at the edge you're you're at it's as if you can't deal with this person anymore so if you are married to a pisces in a relationship with a pisces this could be a family person you could be deciding i'm at the edge with this person i no longer want to deal with this person i'm letting this person go I'm stepping back and letting this person go so whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring yes this is what is going to be transpiring because you're surrendering um, you're at the edge that means you no longer know how to deal with this issue it can be a family member and you're deciding to let this person go now with the energy of surrender there's something unexpected that is going to be happening and a Virgo could be coming in to bring this unexpected news or a situation but whatever is transpiring is that the surrendering in the house of surrender you surrender something and then the universe is going to bless you with something unexpected and this is going to be good so this was a beautiful full moon for you air sign people please remember share these videos share 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 because as you share people will understand more and more what happened in their life and how the full moon affect their lives okay um this video is for aquarius gemini or libra you can always um download the on demand there's just a dollar 99 and with the on demand i go deeper i look at different aspect different uh, houses what situation is going to affect you guys and check those out because there's just just a dollar 99 they're always on the website or you can use the link on the video please share these videos thumbs up notification and um let me know how it's going for you guys check out the the monthly readings and check out also the on demand monthly readings because you're going to see how the information affects you that comes up in this full month namaste until next time